Aloha everybody and welcome back to part 7 of Bully. And uh, guess what? This is the end of chapter 1 this video. You guys said this playthrough would take forever. We're almost a fifth of the way through on part 7, so ha! <laughs> <laughs> and this next mission's really fun, so hope you enjoy it. Bunch of thieving jerks! What's up, Melvin? Ah, greetings. Hmm. Jimmy, listen. Some ruffians took it upon themselves to steal my grottos and gremlins character sheets and won't return them. We're playing tonight. The whole situation is untenable. Grottos and gremlins? Boy, you are sad. Sad? I'm distraught! Role-playing is the high point of human achievement. In fact, Upon reflection, I am prepared to offer a bag of groats to the fair knight, whomsoever recovers these precious screens. Do you accept the quest? How much? Ten groats. What? I mean ten bucks. Wait here. And you can have your pick of my wenches. Great. <laughs> I love that look that he gives Jimmy when he says he'll give him his wenches. <laughs> I don't think you want to touch that. <laughs> Melvin is hot shit. All right, you've got something of Melvin's. Give it up. All right, I'll give it to you if you beat my friend in a little game. He kicks you in the nuts, then you kick him in the nuts until one of you gives up. If you win, you get the sheet. If not, we keep it. That's just stupid. Maybe, but I go first. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. <laughs> and hey, you get a character sheet, so I mean, Great. yeah. <laughs> we just played Rochambeau, Jesus Christ. You didn't even get a kick in. <laughs> I know. They ran away before I got to kick him in the dick. What the hell? <laughs> that is not how you play the game. You 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 take your dick kicking, goddammit. <laughs> this guy's probably the most annoying part of the whole mission, as you can see, because you have to chase him and he's constantly dropping marbles, and if you run into him, you're always gonna trip. And I find almost every time I do this mission, for some reason I always get like notoriety meter all the way to the top. I don't even know what happened here. I don't know what happened. I don't know why the prefects are going after me with full force in the red. And because your notoriety meter is up, then it makes it harder to do this mission. Oh yeah. Because like if it's at the <laughs> if it's at the top, if it's at red, they just have to grab you. You can't struggle and get away. They grab you, mission over. You have to redo it all over again. And uh, so with this mission, sometimes I would replay it, and what I would do is, as soon as I come up to this kid, I would use the slingshot, like, right away. Just, like, immediately as soon as I see him, I would build up a slingshot attack, full power, knock him on his ass, kick him when he's down, and I would get the character sheet without having to chase him, without having to dodge marbles and stuff, but... Uh... That was your chance to Rochambeau him back. <laughs> oh, come on! There's no such thing as magic, Dweeb! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, like, get used to me laughing at that animation. <laughs> I'll harm you! Ah. Why did he fall down? <laughs> not, not the bully, the nerd. Why did the nerd fall down? <laughs> Either way. Yeah. So yeah, the hard part is really just the kid with the marbles. Everyone else I'm fine just punching out, no problem. But uh, yeah, slingshot is your friend. Anytime you're chasing somebody, sometimes it's just good to build up that shot if they're in range and then you'll knock them. Like, if you build up the slingshot, it will always knock them down. And our last character sheet is in the auto shop. So let's beat some more bullies down. With Please our slingshot. Boom! Oh, tackle! Bill, Bill Goldberg style. <laughs> oh, look, we got a nerd backing us up. Or not. Where are you going? <laughs> nah, he's running away. <laughs> I will say, though, like, the nerds do become really helpful by the end of the game, because, like, when they start, like, unlocking, like, the potato guns and whatnot, if you're, like, 
defending a nerd's honor or like if a bully like hits one of the nerds and then they bring out their potato gun they will shoot the shit out of anyone who's harassing you and yeah. it is fantastic i can't wait to gush about the potato gun later <laughs> <laughs> there is so much we still haven't unlocked it's crazy you recovered my precious documents thank you sir you are a noble man indeed just give me the money melvin <laughs> you have earned it and don't forget about the wenches holy moly <laughs> you got yourself ten. What was it? Ten golds. Ten. Ten. Ten groats. Ten groats. You got yourself ten groats yeah. for doing that. And we have a select pick of we all of his wenches. Of and because he's a nerd, I have to assume the only wench he has is Beatrice, and maybe Algy. Maybe <laughs> Algy. <laughs> what else is there with the nerd group? What wenches could he possibly have? <laughs> you get to zip up Algy's pants. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Never do that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in chemistry three right now, which is more button mashing. They add like some of the shoulder buttons as you go on. It's nothing too hard. Yeah. I think you're allowed to screw up three times in chemistry. Like I think you're allowed to screw up three actions. And then if you screw up the third time, then you fail. But for the most part, you saw right there, I didn't screw it up at all because it's just, it's whatever, it's chemistry. You just push the buttons that are on screen. Nothing crazy there. <laughs> <laughs> but now we got English 3. And it got S's. You know what that means. And two vowels. And two vowels. But yes, tell me, what, what, what about the S's? I, I can put lie and lies. <gasps> I can put lime and limes. <gasps> <laughs> Get those speed running strats. I could put well slime and I can put slimes. You <gasps> got a six letter word there. <laughs> Smile. I, I will say this is when the game starts getting pretty hard though, because like I actually did struggle to get 50% uh, the first time I played this game on English 3. Like this is where I might actually start screwing up a bit. Yeah. Look, I'm a smart guy, audience. I am. It's like, I could probably guess every single word if it was like an actual classroom. If it, we actually had like 20 to 30 minutes to figure it out. <laughs> I wish school was like that. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only have 2 minutes and 30 seconds. So I see all these spaces, but there's this timer counting down and it's well making done. me all nervous and shit. <laughs> Keep it up. I passed. The good news is, um, if you passed and then you want to just, like, immediately end the class, you can push triangle to exit. You don't have to wait for the one minute, 20 seconds. And, uh, yeah, you'll just, you'll just finish and you'll pass, so. You could also sort of just cheese this mini game by pressing triangle and think about the words you want to spell because the timer stops when you press it. Also, you just saw me being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, missile! Missile! What? Why doesn't that work? <laughs> because missile is a seven-letter word, and there's no extra I in there. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that extra I, so I'm the dummy. I deserve the dunce cap. <laughs> which, 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 funny enough, uh, there is a dunce cap in Bully. Yes. And how you unlock it is you have to fail five classes in a row. Well done. <laughs> like you have to purposefully go into classes, fail them on purpose like five times, and then you'll unlock the dunce cap for doing so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't have time for that, so I'm not going to unlock it throughout this playthrough. <laughs> Imagine like punching prefects and like throwing firecrackers at kids with the dunce cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Put on the bully polo white shirt and just be like, Duh, I'm Russell too. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> and I don't mean T O O, I mean T W O. Like, I'm 2.0. Russell too. Russell too. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have the ability to apologize to the prefects. We could apologize to the bullies and they would leave us alone, but not the prefects. And now. 
I'm, I'm sorry, sorry okay. mister. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm stupid. I'm 15 years old. What do you want from me? The prefix oh, still insult you either way if you try to apologize to them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not forgiving. The prefix are assholes because it's like, you can try to like talk to them. Like every single character in the game, you can push the L1 button and then push X to like say hi and be nice and, and cheerful. And all the prefix are like, go away from me, kid. You have no potential. <laughs> There you are. Come on, I found something incredible. Hold on, relax, man. I can't keep getting in trouble. I can't get expelled again. It's always about me with you. Me, me, me. I'm thinking bigger picture, and you're worrying about getting into trouble? You know what? You really are something. What bigger picture? I'm, uh, we are gonna take <laughs> over this school. We are not taking over anything right now. Time and tide wait for no man, my friend. But it seems they do wait for a wannabe tough guy who's nothing but a little girl. You're full of it. So you keep telling me, look, now come on. I promise you, after this, things are never gonna be the same again. Oh, I'm so excited. I should have stopped taking those pills ages ago. Yeah, right. Whatever you say, Gary. For the love of God, Gary, get on your pills. <laughs> <laughs> Take your goddamn pills, Gary. <laughs> so now we're going to follow Gary into wherever he wants to show us. Ooh. Yeah, this is the final mission of Chapter 1. Mm -hmm. So, like Gary said, things are going to change forever. Oh! <gasps> Hey, idiots! Jimmy's gonna kick your ass! Right, Jimmy? Are you hurting? Jeez. What the hell, Gary? <laughs> he just immediately sends us to fight a whole bunch of butt and assholes. <laughs> See, Gary's such a good friend. He just wants you to toughen up like a boy. Yeah, he just gets me into fights that I don't want to do. You know. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks, chum. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Luckily, Jimmy Hopkins is still the most baddest Chad on the school, so <laughs> I can handle him no problem. But now we're going to see a new part of the school. Now we're in the basement. We're going to make our way through it. It's very spooky down here. Hmm, I think that switch over there controls the... So you're going to navigate your way through the basement by um, pressing some switches for um, Gary. Hmm. That cage wasn't locked before. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> so you just go into the cage, press the switch, and you're good. Would you hurry there, Jimmy? Yeah, it's mostly just like following the s where he tells you to do and just hitting some switches and that's about it. Yeah. I could break these boxes to get a whole bunch of like wooden weapons and stuff and sometimes they have like soda in them as well so if you did get beat up by the bullies there. earlier the there switch. is soda in the basement that you can pick up to refill your health mm -hmm. can't reach this one so i'm gonna use a brick Would you hurry there, Jimmy? i'll use the slingshot for this section but the brick is cool too <laughs> I guess it's a cooler way of doing it. <laughs> you know, they put all these items in the ground, they put all these, like, stuff lying around, and figure, ah, I might as well use them at some point. It's like they introduced, like, the idea that you could pick up items in, like, the first two missions or whatever, and I'm like, I never use it past that point because then I have a slingshot, and it's like, well, why would I do it? I have a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have a potato gun, why do I need it? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we're not getting the potato gun for another, like, three chapters. <laughs> so this room right here, this room would actually have all of the jack-o'-lanterns that I didn't smash during Halloween. They would all be scattered throughout here. And right in front of Jimmy right now is a radio transistor. And we can use that to give it to the hobo, and he will teach us some new combat moves. So and when you're in this room on any other casual playthrough, Make sure all the jack-o'-lanterns are destroyed, pick up the transistor, these are two things you want to pick up. Also, you can return to the boiler room at any point, so it's not like this is a one-and-done deal. Uh, after we do this mission, we can actually enter the boiler room from, like, the side door next to the school store. Yeah, it's on the first floor. 
Yeah. I think there's a mission where, like, literally there's a kid who, um, needs toilet paper because he's in the, the bathroom. Oh, right. <laughs> and you have to actually go in the boiler room to, uh, get toilet oh, paper for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this looks really ominous. This looks like a fucking... a fight club kind of cage. <laughs> Don't talk about fight club. Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> So, Jimmy boy, here we are, the hole, the place where this school separates the men from the boys, the wheat from the chaff and all that nonsense. Okay, so what's that got to do with standing up to people, keeping them in line? This is where I stand up to you, my friend. What are you talking about? I know you hate me, Jimmy boy. I know you said all that stuff about me behind my back. What are you talking about? Don't play innocent with me. You want to run this school, I want to run this school. Only one of us is gonna make it. And it's gonna be me! It's gonna be me. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and morons, I give you Russell! Oh, man. Me, Russell! Gary, now I hate you. I know, Russell. Go beat that little jerk who said that nasty stuff to me about your mom and those barnyard uh, animals. What? Come here. Russell wants vengeance. Son of a bitch. You mean you didn't hate him at the beginning, Jimmy? <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. You oh, wanna God. Be, you want to be careful with that because Russell's tackles will take a chunk off of your health. <laughs> <laughs> you remember how badly he kicked my ass during Halloween? <laughs> Well, it's time to get payback and finally win this fight. At least he doesn't have any buddies helping him out, it's just him. But uh, he does have these crazy charge-up moves, so he'll ram you into the wall. He has these crazy charge-up grabs. And I actually don't mind getting grabbed, because he doesn't immediately do a lot of damage, and you can kind of reversal your way out of it, and you're going to be seeing it pretty soon. Uh, you can use your, your items like the slingshot and whatnot, but you still got to pay attention and make sure... <laughs> yeah, when he starts... When he starts pounding his chest, that's when you need to get your distance and avoid that charge. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you're better at dodging than I am, he'll ram his head into it, and then you can get some free hits. Otherwise, ugh. Well, see, this is weird. Again, he's Donkey Kong. He fucking roars, and Jimmy just falls over as soon as he roars. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to keep your distance in this fight, use the slingshot. You can still definitely, like, use your melee attacks against him. Yeah. I'm holding the block button that, all this whole time. I'm holding L1, because I don't want him to hurt me. But I- Oh god! Oh! By god, king! By god! <laughs> <laughs> the walls of Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Get off me! Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fucking bulldog on Russell, holy shit. What a WrestleMania main event. <laughs> you happy now, jerk? Ecstatic. I love to watch two morons beat the crap out of each other. Why'd you do it, Gary? I thought we were friends. <laughs> friends? You and me. I've taken dumps that had more brains than you, friend. No, I'm taking over this school. And you're just a liability. See you around, moron! Well done, Jimmy. Yeah, great. What a waste of time. You all right, Russell? Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah? Look, I never said anything about your mom or farmyard animals. You did it? <laughs> no, but I want you to stop bullying weak kids. Why? Ah, because there are a bunch of kids around this place who need a beating, and you're picking on the few who don't. So I want you to leave me and him alone. Oh, okay. Sorry. Bad Russell. Good boy, Jimmy. I can't believe Gary would do something like that. Why? <laughs> I thought he was our friend. He seems so trustworthy. I know. What a plot twist. <laughs> I blame the not taking pills part. It's definitely that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> So the good news is, uh, from this point onwards, the bully group will not harass you ever again. Uh, the kids in the white polo shirts, they're done harassing you. They're on your side. 
Uh, you can actually recruit them if you want with money and stuff, but we'll get into that stuff later. Yeah. That's it for chapter one. Come back for part eight as the world opens up a little. 